Hey YouTube, it's JJ again. Um, just want to say hi to everybody and I wanted to uh, make another video today. Um, today I had some friends asking me how I organize my coupons and how do I keep everything organized and to be honest, I am far from organized. <laughs> um, I, I, I juggle four kids, a husband, a dog, a house and bills and I, I do a lot of crazy running around and I'm just like a busy, busy, busy person. So organization is at the very bottom of my list, but I do try to be as organized as I can be. I do try, I do put in some effort. So I'm just not the greatest person to get pointers on that, but I will show you some pictures on how I keep my inserts organized in the house because I have friends that organize, that actually they don't organize, they don't even take their inserts in the house. They actually take them in the car, which is not a bad idea either. They can do that, that's cool actually. I wish I, I had room in my car to actually do that, but I don't even have room in my car to do that. So um, I actually have different shelves and different little organizers that I've invested in to keep all my inserts in. And then I have a binder too. And I've jumped from thing to thing to thing because you'll notice that it's really a matter of preference. Like it depends what floats your boat because what works for me might not work for you. So um, I'll start with this. Um, everybody in the coupons, that you can think of, and this is a little FYI, if you're at the grocery store and you see somebody with a big binder like this, they're a couponer. Chances are they're a couponer. And so, because all couponers, um, this is the main thing that they use are these binders. And as you can see, it's pretty big, like it's taking up most of the screen here. But mine is hot pink with black, and it has all kinds of cool little compartments. You have a compartment here too, and um, you can stick stuff in there which is kind of neat. I'm going to open it up real quick. Oh, and then it has like all this different things here. Like, um, actually these are like little filers if you can see. So you can actually stick inserts here if you want to take them with you. Like let's say a Walgreens ad or a CVS ad, you can stick those in here. I like this binder, but it's just, I'll explain in a minute why I don't use it. Um, you also have a zipper here to keep like, let's say if you want to keep your paper clips, you could keep your paper clips there. Little pockets to slide your pens in which I thought was pretty neat and I had actually went as far as buying the binder and also getting this little organizers that I thought were really cool they're like these little sleeves and they're the size of a baseball card because that's basically what the best way to put your coupons is that you want to get the baseball card plastic liner inserts and then you can put a lots of uh, coupons because basically you have the front and the back and you can stick a coupon in the front and you can stick one in the back. So that's the whole reason why people go with the whole baseball card thing. But um, there's different size. Actually, this insert, this package, I got it at Walmart. And it was really cool because it came with this little, let me put that, let me put that a little closer so you can see it. It comes with that, which explains all the coupons and how you want to kind of, I guess, how you want to split up your coupons, basically. So it was kind of neat. And then it came with different, um, the little plastic things with different sizes like I had the baseball card one I had some that were uh, a little bigger that came across I don't know if you can see that one this one is a little longer so you can put bigger coupons and then it also came with that's why I bought it because it had different compartments like it it really literally thought of every coupon size you can imagine the stick in one of these things so that's why I had gotten it oh it even had this one I'll show you real quick or you can actually stick the coupon inside um, this way where it's facing you like straight up. And there's a lot of long coupons like that. And then it had the sleeves where you can actually stick your rain checks if you wanted to in there. So I thought that was pretty neat. I think the package was like, I don't remember now because I, I had gotten it so long ago. Um, it's been a couple months since I've had it. And the funny part is I bought it, I invested in all this, and I don't even use it because it was very, for me, it was very bulky. And when I shop, I don't like to draw a lot of attention. I mean, it's bad enough being a couponer and people already give you like the little eyes that burn holes in your back <laughs> when you're taking too long couponing and, you know, it takes like 20 minutes to cash out. So people give you the evil eye. But so every time I walked in with my binder, although I loved it, for me, it was very bulky and I just felt like, oh, this is bringing too much attention and it would stress me out. So the binder is not for everybody. Like some people love it. They live by it. They wouldn't even shop without a binder, but for me, it didn't work. And so I don't even use it. I'm, I might be selling this binder actually 
So I'll let you guys know if I post that on YouTube to sell. But that's basically what your binder looks like. And if you see those at the store, all couponers use those. And there are some new things that people are getting into. So I use different things. Like I'm going to show you this real quick. And this is your basic little coupon small binder. Mine's really overstacked right now. As you can see, it's like overwhelmed with coupons. <laughs> it's like bursting out coupons. But that's because I have so many. So anyway, I got a basic little... I got this at Staples, I believe, and it's like a little, each, you have all the little slots that you can label your coupons here, which I don't do. I'm really bad at that. So I'm, maybe I shouldn't be making this video because <laughs> I'm not that organized, like I was saying, but, but my madness works for me. Like it makes total sense for me. So um, anyway, I don't label, but you should label them. This is what it's for. It comes with little, like little cards and you stick them in there and you can label. Oh, here it is. And you can put in there like dairy, dry foods, household items, but I, I just found it too time consuming for me. So I don't do that. I just kind of stick whatever I want in there. And I'm not gonna lie, when I go out with it, it kind of can stress me out a little bit because I'm busy looking for a coupon and I'm like this, looking and looking, looking. And then I spend like 15 minutes looking for that. So definitely, I, I probably should organize it and be a little bit better about that because I probably would save myself a lot of headache and a lot of time at the store. So. This is another option for you. So if you're going to get something like this, I totally recommend that you label it and you do use it the way it's supposed to. And don't overstuff it like I did. See, it's just so crazy bulky. But anyway, <laughs> I have so many peelies and stuff that I have found. So that's one way. And then I use another bag. I actually walk with that. And I also have this cute little bag that I actually brought at Route 21. Um, and I just, I thought it was darling, so I wanted to get it because I thought, oh, this is going to be cute for couponing. And it's a cute little polka dot pocketbook that you probably would take out on a night out with your husband or a date or something like that, but I use it for coupons. And I'm going to turn it in so you can see, and it's stuffed with coupons. So I walk with this bag, and I walk with that bag, and I, everywhere I go, you can see me a mile away. I mean, I think that draws attention too, but I mean, but it's still very cute, and I love stuff like this, so... And I just kind of shove everything that I need in there. So basically, the reason that this works for me is because just because I overstuff my bags with coupons doesn't mean I'm going to use all those coupons. I probably won't even use half of those coupons. But I like to have them on me because I, you never know. Like I may have a list prepared for what I want to go out and get. And all of a sudden I see a sale that I might have missed while I was sitting home going through all my flyers. And at least I have the coupon form, you know, for it in my bag. So that's why I carry with these because I never want to miss a good deal. And even the best of us can miss them and you can sit and prepare, but all of a sudden there's a clearance and you didn't know about it and you have a coupon. So it's nice to have the stuff with you. So that's how I roll with all my coupons. So <laughs> um, what was I going to tell you guys? There is this other thing that I have been seeing on many blog sites. Um, this It's like this little bag. It looks like a tool bag, put it that way. It looks like a little tool bag and it's got a really neat handle and you just kind of put it on your side and you, it's like a little mini duffel bag actually. That's better than a tool bag, a little mini duffel bag. And it has all these compartments and it's really cute. I may get something like that, right? but right now this works for me. So um, that's why I'm gonna do that. But if you see something like that, you should look into that because I've been seeing a lot of people with them and they look really cute and they're, uh, you know, conspicuous but doesn't give you away that you're a couponer so not that it matters I just don't like the world knowing oh look she's a couponer you know all right and I was going to show you because I couldn't get my video my cell phone to work properly downstairs so I took a picture of how I organized my inserts in the house um let me see if I can get this to work I actually what I did was um I was telling you before that I have friends that keep their stuff in the car but I actually have a whole section in my house like in the front when you walk in the foyer next to the, uh, the living room. And I have little, um, I guess shelving you could call, call it, that my husband found because he's a maintenance supervisor. So he brings all, home all kinds of little shelvings that people leave behind and throw away. And it's like a jackpot for me. So he brings them home and then I sit and organize all my stuff in there. So I'm gonna show you this picture. I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see it. If you can, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, maybe it's too bright. Oh, I have so much trouble with this. The, oh, well, there's a little bit of it. So I have that colorful organizer there that I actually had gotten. Um, and I actually went to, let me see if I did that again. There we go. Um, I got that organizer a couple months back and I got that on 
Craigslist. I went to go meet with the girl and I got a small one, but this one was a lifesaver right here because I can fit a lot of um, inserts there. So, and I also have a black box on the bottom too. So that's how I have it set up in my house. Um, I'm going to have to figure out the cell phone so I can actually take my camera and show you guys everything and be like, Choo -choo -choo, there you go. So, but this works for me. So however you want to do it is A-OK. -okay. There's really no rock. It's no rocket science. It's whatever works for you and whatever space you have in the house that you want to dedicate to your couponing space. I mean, there's people that have their desk and they have their own coupon room, which is what I would love to have, but I don't have any rooms here that I can actually use for that because I would even put some of my stockpile there, but I don't. So anyway, I just wanted to share that quick little tutorial on that. It's not even a tutorial. It's just me showing you how I do my stuff and it might not be the best way, but whatever works for you. So you just definitely want to find, get a game plan, figure out where you want to keep it organized. I definitely recommend organizing it because if you don't, you'll have coupons everywhere. Oh, and another thing, don't cut all your coupons out because if you do, um, that's the bad thing. You'll have coupons everywhere and you may not use your coupon for another week or two before it goes on sale. So that's why I like doing the little um, organizers in the shelves because I can keep all my inserts there and as I need them, I'll get them. I can just go to the full insert and if there's a deal, then I'll walk right over and I'll cut what I need and then head out to the store and get what I need. So that's why that works for me. But um, I don't recommend cutting all your coupons because it's just, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're not going to be successful at couponing because that little thing alone can overwhelm you. So anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to share that. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And if it wasn't that helpful, I'm sorry, but that's just the way I do it. And again, I'm not the best organizer, but it works for me. So, and that's me, JJ. So, all right, you guys have a blessed day. See you again. Bye.